We'll guide you through how to extract frames from a video. Let's get right into this. I'll show you how you can get a single frame from this video and also how to break this video down into many frames as well. Firstly, we're gonna go and need a free tool to do this and that tool is called VLC Media Player. It's quite likely you may already have it, but if you don't, here's how you can get it. Open up a browser and go to a search engine and just type in VLC Media Player. The official website is videoland.org. Come to the website, tap on the download button, the download will begin, you can then find the installer in your downloads folder in your file explorer, then just run it as a normal installation. It's very simple to do. Then what you need to do is go and open it up, so I'll tap on search and type in VLC Media Player. Once you've opened it up, what you then need to do is just go to the top left of it, tap on media and then go and tap on open file and I'm just gonna go and find the file, which is this one here, then tap on open. What I'll firstly show you how to do is just how to take a single frame of the video, and then in a moment, I'll show you how you can go and break down a whole video into many frames. So firstly, what you need to do is find which frame you want. So for example, I may want this uh, frame here. Once you've got it selected, then just go to the top left and tap on video, and then tap on take screenshot. And just like that, the screenshot has been taken. As you just saw there, it tells you where it is. For me, it was in my pictures folder. I'll just do it again to show you as you can see in my pictures. So that is how you can take one snapshot. But if you wanna break down a whole video into frames, here's how you can do it. What you need to do is go to the top left and go and tap on tools and then go down and tap on preferences and then come to the bottom left where it says show settings and go and tap on all. In your advanced preferences, what you then need to do is scroll down until you see the option for video and you may need to go and expand it like this. Then go and click on filters and expand it again and scroll down until you go and see the option for scene filter. Click here. Now we've got some settings here. So what you first need to choose is the image format of the frames, PNG is fine for me. With image width and image height, you can keep these at minus one. It reads by default, VLC will adapt to video characteristics, which is what I want. So mine's gonna be 1920 by 1080. If you want a custom one, just type it in here. And then you can go and change this. I just keep it with scene though. And then directory path is where they're gonna be saved. What I've done is create a new folder for this because I may get quite a few frames. And then to get the directory path, just go and click on this bar in the top. And as you can see, that is it there. So you can right click and press copy, and then come back to VLC, and then you can right click here and paste the path in just like that. The recording ratio is the ratio of images to record. So three means that one image out of three is recorded. And just remember, like if this video is 60 frames a second, there's over 60 a second, so that is a lot. So in this case, I'm just gonna go and make this 30. Once you're happy with these settings, then what you need to do is go over to the left and scroll up and just go and tap on filters. Scroll across here and so you can go and see scene video filter, go and click on it like this. And that means this setting is now enabled. So go and press save like this. Now what you need to do is go and close VLC Media Player. And the next time we go and open up VLC Media Player, what's now gonna happen is, is the video will play and that's when all the frames are gonna be saved. So don't worry, just keep watching. I'm gonna explain everything. Let's go and open up VLC again and then go to the top left, press on media, open the file you want to take the frames of. In this case, it's this one here and then let it play through. Don't pause it, let it fully play through and capture all of the frames. So that's it, it's now captured all of the frames. And so the next thing we need to do is then go and open up the folder, which we went and set the path directory to in VLC, which I've just got here. And as you can see, it's now gone and taken the frames and it's gone and done it with the interval I selected as well. So if I wanted to, I could add more frames by uh, lowering the interval. But now what's really important is, is you now go and disable that setting. So to do that, just go and press on tools, then preferences and then make sure all is selected in the bottom left. Scroll down to video and then tap on filters and make sure you untick that and press save because otherwise every time you go and open up a video in VLC Media Player with that setting selected, it's gonna go and start taking frames which will just get annoying. So yeah, that's it guys. We've now gone and extracted all of the frames. I can go and open them up and flick through them. 